Fishing is a profession that's rarely thought of as a good gold maker. In this video, I'm going to show you why that isn't the case in TBC and how you can make serious amounts of gold per hour if you know where and what to fish. Welcome back everyone, my name is Chazit and today I'm going to show you how you can fish for gold throughout the Burning Crusade and have a lucrative source of income from this criminally underused secondary profession. With fishing there are three main ways you can make gold, but before we can discuss those we need to think about levelling up your fishing skill. This is super simple and to make your life easier, here's how I would do it. The first place you're able to fish in the Outlands is in Zangamarsh and luckily this is where all your levelling will take place. Head over to the Scenarian Refuge and speak to Juno Dufresne, who will teach you the Master Fishing ability, which allows you to level up to level 375. With skill level 305, which can be achieved with a strong rod or a lure, you can fish in Umbrafen Lake or the Lagoon in the eastern part of the zone. You should fish here until level 355, where you can then fish in Marshlight Lake, Spallwind Lake or Serpent Lake in the central and western parts of the zone. This will be more than enough to get you to the cap of 375. Whilst you level, keep an eye out for pools of floating wreckage, as contained in the boxes that you can fish up from them is the Weather Beaten Journal, which teaches you the ability to find fish on the minimap, something that is invaluable as you head out to find specific fish pools. Now, if you're unlucky and don't find one, then don't stress too much. You can get the Weather Beaten Journal as a reward from the daily fishing quests that I'll speak about a little bit later on. Now moving on to the gold making portion of this video. The first way we can make gold with fishing is by targeting the specific fish that are used in buff food for people's raiding. The four main buff foods that are used with items from fishing are spicy crawdad which gives 30 stamina and 20 spirit, golden fish sticks which give 44 healing done and 20 spirit, poached bluefish which gives 23 spell damage and 20 spirit and finally grilled mudfish which gives 20 agility and 20 spirit. These recipes are made with cooking, but all the materials required are from fishing. This should provide you with a steady gold maker throughout the entire expansion. So now we need to look at the fish that we need to catch and where to go and find them. Furious crawdad that is used in the spicy crawdad recipe is found in only three places in Terracar Forest, and all three of these places are only reachable with a flying mount. The lakes in question are Blackwind Lake, Lake Erinoru and Lake Jeroon. These furious crawdad can only be fished from the Highland Mixed School nodes which require a high level of fishing skill to farm effectively, 405 to cast and 500 to avoid getaways to be exact. You're going to need to use as much plus fishing skill as you can get and use an Aquadynamic fishing attractor to improve your efficiency. According to resources made of the TBC era, the average furious crawdad caught per Highland Mixed School is 2. The Highland Mixed Schools can also give you golden darters and motes of water. One extremely rare drop that you can get from these pools is Mr. Pinchy, which is an item that has three charges. These are various rewards, but the most sought after one is the Magical Crawdad Box, which gives you an extremely rare companion pet. Given the requirements to fish these, the fact that you need flying to reach the lakes, and the hard to kill mobs that path in many of the areas, these Furious Crawdad are going to be at a premium at the start of the expansion. There is a huge opportunity to make some fast gold here. Golden data which are used as part of the golden fish stick recipe can be found in a number of nodes including brackish mixed schools, highland mixed schools and in the open water, but the highest drop rate is from the school of data which can be found in the rivers around the central part of Terracar Forest. These require a skill of 355 to cast and 450 to avoid getaways. They have an 80% chance to drop a golden data so you're going to get at least 2 or 3 per node and there will naturally be more of these on the market but given they're used by all healers I'm sure there will be strong demand for these still. Ice fin bluefish which are used in the poached bluefish recipe are found in the waters of Nagrand and can be found in open water in the waterways around the centre of the zone. They also drop in high concentrations from the bluefin school which can be found primarily in the riverways between Sunspring Post and Garadar, again at the centre of the zone. These bluefish schools have an 80% chance to yield an ice fin bluefish and depending on location require a skill between 380 and 395 to cast and 475 and 490 to avoid getaways. Whilst you're fishing in the open waters of Nagrand, approximately 20% of the catch you'll receive will be ice fin bluefish. Fig Luster's mudfish are another common fish that can be fished in pretty much the same places as the ice fin bluefish. It can be fished for mudfish schools which share a respawn with bluefish schools, so you're best off fishing for both rather than targeting one or the other. These also have a skill requirement of 380 to 395 to cast and 475 to 490 to avoid getaways. And similar to the ice fin bluefish, you're going to get about 20% of the catch being these if you're fishing in the open water. One last thing to add about the ice fin bluefish and fig lustus mudfish is that they can be caught in a small but lesser known pool in the eco dome mid realm found in netherstorm there are a number of mobs in the area so it can be a bit of a pain to get set up but if you want a peaceful secluded spot to fish this place is perfect 
The second way to make gold by fishing is by farming for moats of water. These moats can be fished up in pure water pools which are found in Nagrand. They spawn in the riverways in the centre of the zone as well as Sunspring Lake, Sky Song Lake just north of Garadar and the Elemental Plateau. Although I wouldn't recommend the Elemental Plateau as an area to fish in as it is likely to be highly contested with active PvP going on. From these pure water pools you can get between 3 and 9 moats of water in total and these pools have a skill requirement of 380 to 395 to cast and 475 to 490 to avoid getaways. This farm can be extremely lucrative and some people have reported over 200 moats per hour which translates into 20 primal water. Primal water sold in the Burning Crusade for approximately 15 to 25 gold depending on your server so you can expect to make between 300 and 500 gold per hour just by fishing. Now obviously this is dependent on your server's economy and how much competition you get but I certainly see this as a multiple hundreds of gold per hour farm which you can use as a strong alternative for your other income sources. Finally we have the third method which is the fishing daily quests. These reward you with a bag that can drop many items as well as around 7 gold each time. Now aside from these fishing specific items there are a number of white items with no level requirement that do not become soul bound. These items are popular for people's bank alts as a way of showing off their wealth. Now this is certainly a niche gold farm but I wanted to bring people's attention to it as you may be surprised how much gold you can make selling these rather than just taking them to a vendor. Well guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more guides like this and other entertaining content then please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out.